An Oklahoma City man's competition barbecue trailer stolen from his own driveway. And in a desperate attempt to get it back, he took to the airwaves, asking listeners of his favorite radio station to help be on the lookout. And boy, did folks answer the call, helping him find his pride and joy in just a few hours. News Force Caitlin Ogle spoke with him and KJ103 about the search for that trailer. Katie? Well, Greg Scallon says he was frantically searching for the lost trailer when the idea came through his car speakers as he listened to KJ103. Meanwhile, the DJs thought they were answering a call to give away free tickets, not realizing they are about to set off a search spanning miles. My trailer, my competition trailer was just stolen and you can't miss it. And that trailer was what I was converting into a food truck trailer and it's all I have. That's not an every morning thing. 6 a.m. Thursday, Greg Scallon making a desperate attempt to save his barbecue competition trailer. Minutes before, a neighbor waking him up to tell him the trailer left locked in his Oklahoma City driveway was gone. So I frantically grabbed my phone and grabbed my keys and got in my truck and, and drove down the street and tried to, to locate him. Um, I called 911 because I, th I thought, you know, it's gone and, and I got to find it. But Greg needed to widen the search. The answer coming through his car speakers while listening to TJ Brown on KJ 103. Call 911, yes, please. Okay. I'll call 911. It's you, everything I have. But I heard, you know, the desperation in his voice. My heart is breaking for this guy. The radio posting about Greg on social media. Word taking off and tips flooding in. I saw it going westbound on I-40 about five minutes ago. Thank you very, very much. Okay, thanks, Greg. Good luck, buddy. As each person, you know, would call, you know, you're putting a mental pin in that map of where this vehicle is heading. Just two hours after Greg called, a break in the case. So I just got a phone call from a from a lady out of nowhere that said that the trailer just pulled up into her house in Union City. Union City Police say the suspect, Jordy Maldonado, dumped the trailer off. After allegedly giving the homeowner a fishy story, she looked up Compete Barbecue on Facebook, seeing all the posts. He's contacted 911. They're on their way to meet me there. Police later catching and arresting Maldonado, but the trailer with $3,000 worth of mods taking a beating. And so he had ripped the trailer jack off of it. You could see where it looked like he had hammered the, the, all the locks off of it. He actually blew a tire out. Greg says it'll take about $500 to fix, but it's safe. And Maldonado is behind bars. And the radio crew just elated Greg got his trailer back. I mean, I'd be sick right now if, if he would have lost that forever. This does not happen without KJ 103, without everybody sharing, calling. Um, you guys are amazing. Y'all made this happen. And we did check, and Maldonado does have a long criminal history. Meanwhile, Greg is spinning this negative into a positive. He says 50% of his pro barbecue profits will go to buying gifts for children through the Salvation Army's Angel Tree.